Chapter 7 Understanding HTML This chapter covers mean of HTML, creating and viewing HTML document, about HTML tags and elements. What do you mean by HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is the most widely used language to write web pages. As its name advises, HTML is a markup language. Hypertext signifies to the way in which web pages, HTML documents are connected together. When you click a link in a web page, you are utilizing hypertext. Markup language explains how HTML functions. With a markup language, you only mark up a text document with tags that say to a web browser what to display and how to display. Originally, HTML was evolved with the intent of defining the structure of documents such as headings, lists, paragraphs, and so on to facilitate the sharing of scientific information between researchers. All you require to do to utilize HTML is to learn what kind of markup to utilize to obtain the outcome you wish. Creating and Viewing HTML Document Creating an HTML document is an easy task. To start coding HTML, you simply require two things, a simple text editor and a web browser. Notepad is the most fundamental concept of simple text editors and you would probably code a fair amount of HTML with it. Here are the simple steps to create a basic HTML document. To write code in text editor, open Notepad or another text editor. At the top of the page, type angular bracket HTML. In the next line, indent five spaces and now add the opening header tag angular bracket head. In the next line, indent 10 spaces and type angular bracket title angular bracket slash title. Go to the next line, indent five spaces from the margin and insert the closing header tag angular bracket slash head. Five spaces inform the margin in the next line type angular bracket body. Now drop down another line and type the closing tag right below its mate angular bracket slash body. Ultimately, go to the next line and type angular bracket slash HTML. Always remember, in 1989, Berners-Lee wrote a memo proposing an internet-based hypertext system. Berners-Lee specified HTML and wrote the browser and server software in late 1990. To save HTML document, in the File menu, choose Save As. In the Save As Type option box, choose All Files. Name the file template .html. Click Save. View the output in the Internet Browser. Open Internet Explorer. Click File Open. Click on Browse button. Select the file and click Open. You have basic HTML document now. To view some output, mention the following code in title and body tags. Example, angular bracket HTML, angular bracket head, angular bracket title. This is document title angular bracket slash title, angular bracket slash head, angular bracket body, angular bracket h1. This is a heading, angular bracket slash h1, angular bracket p. Document explanation goes here, angular bracket slash p, angular bracket slash body, angular bracket slash html. Now you have created one html page, and you may use a web browser to open this HTML file to view the output. It is clear now. You have understood that web pages are nothing but simple HTML files with some content which may be rendered using web browsers. Here, angular bracket HTML, angular bracket head, angular bracket P, angular bracket H1, etc. are called HTML tags. HTML document structure. An HTML document begins and ends with angular bracket HTML and angular bracket slash HTML tags. 
These tags say to the browser that the complete document is composed in HTML. Inside these two tags, the document is divided into two sections the angular bracket head and angular bracket slash head elements which consist of information about the document like title of the document, author of the document, etc. Information inside this tag does not display outside. The angular bracket body, angular bracket slash body elements which consists of the actual content of the document that you view on your screen. HTML tags and elements HTML language is called a markup language and we utilize several tags to markup text. In the above example, you have seen angular bracket HTML, angular bracket body, etc. are known as HTML elements or HTML tags. Each tag has a tag name, sometimes followed by an optional list of tag attributes, all placed between opening and closing brackets. The simple tag is nothing more than a name properly enclosed in brackets, such as angular bracket head and angular bracket i. More complicated tags consist of one or more attributes which modify or specify the behavior of the tag. In accordance with the HTML standard, tag and attribute names are not case sensitive. There's no difference in effect between angular bracket head, angular bracket head, angular bracket head or even angular bracket head. They are all equal. But with XHTML, case is significant. All available standard tag and attribute names are in lower HTML basic tags. The fundamental structure for all HTML documents is simple and must incorporate the following minimum elements or tags. Angular bracket HTML, the main container for HTML pages. Angular bracket head, the container for page header information. Angular bracket title, the title of the page. Angular bracket body, the main body of the page. Facts to learn. HTML images are defined with image tag. The head element. The head element is simply a container of all other header elements. It must be the first thing to come up after the opening HTML tag. The title element. You must specify a title for each page that you write inside the title element. This element is a child of the head element. It is utilized in many ways. It shows at the very top of a browser window. It is utilized as the default name for a bookmark in browsers like Netscape and IE. It is utilized by search engines that use its content to assist index pages. Hence, it is significant to use a title that actually explains the content of your site. The title element must consist of only the text for the title and not consist of any other elements. Example here is the example of using title tag, head, title, HTML basic tags, slash title, slash head. The body element. The body element comes up after the head element and consists of the part of the web page that you really view in the main browser window, which is sometimes referred to as body content. A body element may consist of anything from a couple of paragraphs under a heading to more complicated layouts consisting of forms and tables. Most of what you will be learning in this and the next chapters will be written between the opening body tag and closing slash body tag. Example, HTML, body, h1, this is heading 1 slash h1, h2, this is heading 2 slash h2. h3. This is heading 3 slash h3. h4. This is heading 4 slash h4. h5. This is heading 5 slash h5. h6. This is heading 6 slash h6. Body. This will show the following output. Always remember. Tags may also enclose further tag marker between the start and end, including a mixture of tags and text. This indicates further nested elements as children of the parent element. Create paragraph, the P element. 
The P element offers a means to structure your text. Every paragraph of text must go in between an opening P and closing slash P tag as displayed below in the following example. HTML body P here is a paragraph of text slash P. P here is a second paragraph of text slash P body HTML P. Here is a third paragraph of text slash p. This would generate following output. You may utilize align attribute to align your paragraphs. HTML body p align is equal to double quotes left. This is left aligned slash p. P align is equal to double quotes center. This is center aligned slash p. P align double quotes right. This is right aligned slash p. p align is equal to double quotes justify. This is justified. This functions when you have multiple lines in your paragraph and you wish to justify all the lines so that they may look more nice. Slash p slash body slash html. This will generate the following output. Create line breaks the br slash element. Whenever you view the br slash element, anything following it starts on the next line. This tag is an example of an empty element where you do not need opening and closing tags as there is nothing to go in between them. Example, HTML, head, title, HTML basic tags, title, hello, br slash. You must come carefully on time, br slash. Thanks, br slash, magging, slash head, slash html. This will produce the following result. Facts to learn. The br slash element contains space between the characters br and the forward slash. If you omit this space, older browsers would have trouble rendering the line break. While if you miss the forward slash character and just use br, it is not valid xhtml. Font tag. The font tag is utilized to add size, style, and color to the text on your site. You may use a base font tag to set all of your text to the same face and color. The font tag contains three attributes called color, size, and face to customize your fonts. To alter any of the font attributes at any time within your page, only use the font tag. The text that follows will remain altered until you close with a slash font tag. You may alter any or all of the font attributes at the one time by incorporating all the needed alteration within the one font tag. Font size. You may set the size of your font with size attribute. The range of received values is from one, smallest, to seven, biggest. The default size of a font is three. Example. HTML, body, font size is equal to double quotes one, font size is equal to double quotes one slash font, font size is equal to double quotes two, font size is equal to double quotes two slash font, font size is equal to double quotes three, font size is equal to double quotes three slash font, font size is equal to double quotes four, Font size is equal to double quotes 4 slash font. Font size is equal to double quotes 5. Font size is equal to double quotes 5 slash font. Font size is equal to double quotes 6. Font size is equal to double quotes 6 slash font. Font size is equal to double quotes 7. Font size is equal to double quotes 7 slash font. Slash body slash HTML. This will generate the following font face. You may set any font you like using face attribute, but remain alert that if the user seeing the page doesn't have the font installed, they will not be able to view it. Rather, they will default to Times New Roman of your font with size attribute. Following are the few examples of applying various font face. Example, HTML, body, Font face is equal to double quotes time new roman, size is equal to double quotes five times new roman slash font. Font face is equal to double quotes verdana, size is equal to double quotes five 
Verdana slash font. Font face is equal to double quotes Comic Sans MS. Size is equal to double quotes 5 Comic Sans MS slash font. Font face is equal to double quotes Wild West. Size is equal to double quotes 5 Wild West slash font. Font face is equal to double quotes Bedrock. Size is equal to double quotes 5 Bedrock slash font slash body slash HTML. Font color. You may set any font color you prefer utilizing color attribute. You may specify the color that you wish by either the color name or hexadecimal code for that color. Check a complete list of HTML color name with codes. Color, color HEX. Black, hash 000000. Red, hash FF0000. Green hash zero zero FF zero zero blue hash zero 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 FF yellow hash FF FF zero zero cyan hash zero zero FF FF magenta hash FF zero zero FF gray hash C zero C zero C zero white hash FF 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 Example, font color is equal to double quotes, hash, ff, 0, 0, ff. This text is hex color, hash, ff, 0, 0, ff, slash font. Font color is equal to double quotes, red. This text is red, slash font. This will generate the following output. Background color. It sets the color of the background. There are three main colors, red, blue and green. To specify other colors, you simply have to give the name of the color. Syntax Body BG color is equal to double quotes, color underscore name, hex underscore number, RGB underscore number. Attribute values Value Description Color underscore name specifies the background color with a color name such as double quotes red. Hex underscore number specifies the background color with a hex code such as double quotes hash FF0000. RGB number specifies the background color with an RGB code such as double quotes RGB25500. Example Specify a background color for an HTML document. HTML Body BG color is equal to double quotes hash E6 E6 FA H1 Hello World exclamation slash H1 P A href is equal to double quotes HTTP colon double slash www dot w3 schools dot com visit w3 schools dot com exclamation slash A slash P slash body, slash HTML. To alter the appearance of text, bold, the B tag will bold the text inside the tag. Syntax, B. Italic, the I tag will italicize the text inside the tag. Syntax, I. Underline, the U tag will underline the text inside the tag. Syntax, U. Here's an example using B, I, and U tag. Example, HTML, head, title, formatting text in HTML, slash title, slash head, body, center, P, B, Pelican Publishers, slash B, slash P, P, U, computer textbooks for classes 1 to 8, slash U, slash P, P, I, HTML is a compiled code package, slash I, slash P, body, slash html summary html stands for hypertext markup language and it is the most widely used language to write web pages html language is called a markup language and we utilize several tags to markup text the fundamental structure for all html documents is simple and must incorporate the following minimum tags or elements HTML, the main container for HTML pages. Head, the container for page header information. Title, the title of the page. Body, 
the main body of the page. The font tag is utilized to add size, style, and color to the text on your site.